Ben, guess what? We're back. And we are live streaming the Super Nintendo. And we are playing some more repo cards. This is part two of a... Sorry, my B is a bit gassy. Of a two-part series of repo cartridge on the SNES videos. Every time you see the tablet on, it likes. Not the tablet, obviously. Obviously. So, what we're going to do? Well, we, we've got. Hi, Baz. Um, oh. Got half a carry bag left. Is it half used to do that today? What I'm going to do is I'm just going to delve in there uh, and pull out a random cartridge. Oh, and this one is, hang on a minute, let's get back to my other screen. And this one is Mega Man 10. Now, I think we played Mega Man 7 last night, or the previous video. So, Mega Man 10. X, X, X. The number of the beast. Uh, we're in these boxes again. It says repo cart on it because it's a repo. We don't sell stuff as genuine when it's not. Uh, these boxes you can buy online apparently. And the covers has been printed. Not by me. By the guy who sold them me. So we'll open it up. Slide the cartridge out. So, there we go. I don't know what happened then, the screen flashed. Why did the screen flash? Nobody knows. Pros, yeah. Thought I spelt it wrong. It's fine. Let's not worry about it. So, um, switch it on. See what happens. Nothing. Yeah, we're on. Have we got sound? That's the next question. Hi Andrew, it's the sound. What the hell was that? Oh, is this is the computer just said. So what we did last night was we had a look at what these games are worth if they're originals at CEX. What's going on? 
Yes, this is the first game tonight, David. to our death set. No, I didn't want to be dead. Please don't go through all that again. I'm getting old. I don't have long, long left in my life to watch all that again. Climb up walls then. So we can do this. Yes, we can. Oh, that was lucky. Oh no! Oof. It's a deja vu here. So if you bought this from CX and it was an original, it would be 50 quid. Oh. 
Whoa. That was intense. Music was intense. Game was intense. Have I played Metroid games? Not really. I'm not a big Metroid fan, I'll be honest. But that yeah, was all right. Obviously, it's not worth fifty quid because it's a repo. Right, next up. What the hell's that? Castlevania. Vampire's Kiss. Retro games are so... Oh, yeah. Retro games are unforgiving. To be fair, if you know what you're doing, you rattle through them. You can get through them really quick. So they kind of have to be. Like, you know, Crash Bang Wallop. Right, what's this one called? Castlevania. Castlevania Vampires Kissed. Unboxed at CEX would cost you £165 for this game. That's £165. That's a rock cash. I've had one. Have you ever met my ex? I'm joking. Oh. There's no point doing them at the minute, is it? It's already got full health. It's a Terminator. Better alive, you're coming with me. Oh, an axe. Oh, someone's throwing stuff at me. What? I don't see the bat because the bat was in the school's in the way. Coming for a bit of fun as well, are you, Bat? Yeah, I thought you would. Oh! I went up the ladders instead of... Music's oh. quite hip, isn't it? Very 80s. Imagine a, you know, like an 80s detective story with a car driving through a, a forest at speed. Magnum PI. What the hell? I thought I killed him. Did that then. Did it then. Nice. Oh, 
No! Oh well. So there you go. Castlevania Vampire's Kiss. That was actually quite good. I'd rather I pay 160 quid for it, just for the cartridge, if it was a genuine one. I think not. However, that was good. I enjoyed that. I thought that, I thought that was a good game there, so I did. Oh, I did. Let's have another route in a sack of magic, as I like to call it. Oh, next up, we've got R-Type. But it's not any R-Type, it's Super R-Type. There, so it is. Yeah, I'm going to sell them in my shop, but not for the price I'm quoting. Obviously, these are considerably less. But it gives you a chance of playing, rather than an emulator, you're playing on the actual hardware, the actual game, but not paying the stupid prices. That said, I think Super R-Type would be pretty cheap, I'll be honest with you. I can't see Super R-Type being, do you? Uh, R. Type. No. So is it spelled R type then? R type. No. R type. No. Super type. No. R. Street Racer Sons. Oh, there you are. Super R type. Unbox. £12. Yeah, chips, chips. I thought it would be, to be fair. Now, r is one of them games that I kind of like, uh, but at the same time, I hate. Basically, shoot em ups. What can you do? You either love them or you don't. I'm not loving this one at the minute. We might have to get today's sponsor. Today's game is sponsored by Windowling. crap off it not a lot of crap on it to be fair but not quite nearly nearly Pull it out and put it back in again. There you go. Here we go. Two, three, four. I know it's a tap fake, but this is the first live stream I've done in here for a long while where it's kind of worked from the start. Oh, little people running around. Oh, it's nice. See, that's, that's a clever way of launching things in space. Because once it's going, it doesn't stop, does it? We just need like a kind of links at the back just to keep it going. Right. Watch my genius at this game. Oh, I forgot about that power up. Come on, I've shot all these. Oh, is that where I get my thing from? Speed, yeah, there we go. I really used to enjoy shoot 'em ups, even though they were frustrating as hell. Tatsuji, uh, one of my favourites, which I did manage to get hold of, or someone got hold of me about a year ago. I'll do. Oh no! I didn't know they were mines. other mines I've got to blow up. We'll see what the end of level baddie is. Because my favourite end of level baddie one is uh, super, uh, yeah, Thunderblade. 
No, Thunder Force 3, which is the dragon uh, at the end of level 1. Hang on, that's different. They weren't there before, were they? Minefield, quite literally. Go through the minefield. Ah! Oh, I don't know where did it? Oh, poo. Oh! Right. Forgiven. Super R type. Next up in the bag of randomness, we've got Pocking Rocky 1. We played Pocking Rocky 2 last night. <laughs> like share sub. <laughs> But so yeah, and the previous one we played um, Pocky Rocky uh, 2, so this is Pocky Rocky 1. No idea. So it looks like on the back. It's not out of focus, but don't worry about it. Oh. Rocket unboxed. If it was a real one, this would be 80 quid at CX. Unboxed. Don't expect me to be on this for long. To be fair, Pocky Rocky 2 is about the same price. story. I'll be honest with you, I prefer a story with some text. Don't forget that. The Haunted Shrine. This looks familiar. with a face on it trying to tell you. 
just overthinking this. See, all skeleton monsters are quite mad, aren't they? Because they're throwing their own body at you. Eventually, they run out of bones. Oh, I'm dead. There's with you. That's more than enough of that one for me. <laughs> I mean, it's fun and all that. Eight quid worth of fun? I don't think so. So next up, we've got a very exciting, I've no idea what it is. Wolfenstein 3D. Quick reminder, you've just joined us. All these cartridges are repo. Prices I'm quoting are prices for the original cartridge on the CX website up on this very day, which at time recording is the 15th of December, 2020. Wolfenstein 3D on box, 35 quid. not overly expensive compared to some of the others we've already played tonight, some we played last time as well. Just put it out, pull it out, pull it back in again, see if it works. No. Never blow on the cartridge kits unless you want it to work, obviously. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Wow! It's Dennis Ealy. Are you meant to read that? Alright. Oh, Balka Gwatsi, you've served the Republic well. You are a top operative, a one man strike team. However, infiltrating the Master Dead will not be easy. Strumster and his forces are determined to rule the world. Your first task find and eliminate Hans Gross, Stable Masters, a uh, most ruthless enforcer. He marshals the forces from a castle outside Dresden. You will have to make through it through his crack forces to reach him. A good luck, comrade. Oh my god. Oh god. What's that? Toilet roll. That's probably not a bad idea. Can't get through the door. Stop. Ha! Got another toilet roll as well, you mole. God. This controller is a third party one and it is pretty bad dire, I'll be honest with you. I meant to get another one today, to be fair, but I didn't. Let's get over it. Home. I want to pick my toilet roll up, let me in. I don't have my toilet, it's my toilet roll. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's a castle, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. This escalated quickly. Oh, I'm shooting a plant. What the hell's that? Oh, it's just pictures on the wall. Okay. What was that noise when I shot the wolf? It's a wolf. Like so, don't panic. Toilet roll. Yeah. God. I think this was state of the art once. <laughs> Sorry. 
That's your moi. Well, it is funny. <laughs> oh, I don't get that. Right, this is just in my eyes a little bit, so. I think we'll all agree that that's probably not the best game we've played tonight. Apart from the noise of the wolves dying. <laughs> Good job my bits were there then. Well that was my bits were there then. It's a bit tender now. Right, next up. That one. Ooh! Zelda. A link to the past on Repo. straight away because it's Zelda and Zelda is a good game now we had this um, wow crosshairs uh, the elder gamer thank you I think they're wolves. They're either wolves or Alsatians, but either way. I am the prisoner in the dungeon of the castle. My name is Zelda. The wizard has done something to the other missing girls. Now I only I remain. I seize control of the castle and is now trying to open the seven wise men's seal. I'm in the dungeon of the castle. Please help me again. Take, I'm going out for a while. Don't, uh, I'll be back by morning. Don't leave the house. Okay. That board. and see your way through darkness in darkness where my dreams are all too clear darkness darkness this is what I remember doing on this game is just picking up bushes because it was all in Japanese I ain't got a clue what I was doing but occasionally you pick a bush up and there'll be something underneath it this now. There you go. Let's go see. Told you. Oh, okay. So Zelda. It is linked to a quest, isn't it? Unboxed is twenty-five pounds. Boxed mint is two hundred pounds. So yeah, it could be on this for days and I won't get anywhere. So you know it works. Whoever gets it gets to play as me. Ooh. Assume it's remembered it. I don't know if it has or not. Right, next up. What's it going to be? 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 Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, Mish Money Penny. I give you Thunder Spirits. I had no idea this was available on the Super Nintendo. This, 90% sure, will not be going to the shop. One of my favourite shooting ups of all time on the Mega Drive. But how good is it? Oh, we're lagging. Why are we lagging? Right, we're 
I've stopped lagging again. So, uh, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, uh, Thunder Spirits is uh, Thunder Force 3, as far as I can make out, which is one of my favourite shoot 'em ups on the Mega Drive. So, how much is Thunder Spirits? I'm hoping it's a lot, I'll be honest. I hear thunder, but there's no rain. This kind of thunder breaks walls and window panes. So it's not available in the UK. Would appear not. Let's just go for spirit, see what comes up. Nothing. Okay. Let's go for thunder. No, nothing. Wow. Will it work? We've got leggy again. It's me tempting fate. Tempting fate. Come on, stop lagging. Stop lagging. What does that say? So it's excellent connection, but it's lagging. Brilliant. <laughs> God shakes. Right, don't go anywhere. I'm going right, I'm back. Not you, it's me. <laughs> it's cheeky, isn't it? No, right. Um, I've got to end this stream now, and then I'll reset everything, and then I'll start another stream, which will be part three. Or part 2B, one or the other. So I'll see you in a bit.